after the movie Jaws, many people were too afraid to go into the water. And we don't blame them. After all, the movie was inspired by real-life events. In 1916, four people in New Jersey were killed by a bull shark. While it inspired writer Peter Benchley, it downright terrified moviegoers when the story made it to the big screen. Sharks are the top predators of the underwater world and evoke a feeling of dread and horror wherever they go. We don't have to tell you the sheer damage a shark is capable of if it gets its teeth into you. This is an extremely dangerous situation. And in these 15 instances, it comes pretty close. Hold on to your chairs, and maybe put your feet up in case at any point you're afraid something will nip at your ankles. These are the 15 biggest sharks ever recorded on camera. Welcome back to Forever Green. Before we begin, we have a little quiz for you. Which of these is the biggest shark of them all? The great white shark, the whale shark, the tiger shark, or the bull shark? Comment down below and stick around for the answer. No cheating. Number 15, great white shark in a net. With an incredible weight of 4,500 pounds, fishermen hauled up this giant shark using three cranes. They were majorly disappointed when they found it dead, but there were more surprises in store for them. Holy shit, it's a white shark for sure! Between its 300 rows of several thousand sharp teeth, they found a turtle. This giant turtle was about 6.5 feet in length and had its shell cracked by the monster. Only a great white shark can manage a feat like this. Number 14. 13-foot hammerhead shark, Fort Lauderdale. If you enjoy fishing for your own food, you're probably used to catching one or two small ones to feed the family. Well, this family at Fort Lauderdale in Florida were doing just that when a few people spotted them wrestling with a catch on their fishing line. They came over to check out the large fish, and it turns out, it was not a large fish. Stuck to their fishing line was a 13-foot-long hammerhead shark. This was already weird because sharks never swim in such shallow waters. Two people quickly cut the fishing line that had hooked onto the shark's mouth, which was really brave, considering nothing stopped the shark from taking a big bite out of either of them. Hammerhead shark numbers are low, with so many of them being killed for their large fins. So it was essential to save this one and let it go back into the water as quickly as possible. Number 13, Great White Shark in Hawaii. Spotting a great white in the water, regardless of size, is enough to make you swim away screaming. But this great white that some divers off the coast of Oo saw was a whopping 2.5 tons. And what's more, it had been feeding on a giant sperm whale when the divers found it. They swam around the shark while it ate, and we think the big guy wasn't bothered by the people as it was already in the middle of a meal. The divers petted the shark and took videos and photos while underwater. That is either the bravest thing we have ever seen or the dumbest. You decide. It was given the nickname Deep Blue by some scientists 20 years ago, and the shark is believed to be over 50 years old. We hope the divers made it out of there in time after getting everything they needed. Number 12, Giant Whale Shark in Pakistan. The length of this giant is 136 feet, with 8 foot pectoral fins and 15.7 foot tail fin. It is, undoubtedly, the most massive shark ever caught by man. Well, man and crane. Five cranes were needed to pluck this gigantic fish out of the water. It was spotted unconscious around 90 miles away from the shore of Pakistan, and fishermen hauled it into the capital, Karachi, where it was kept on display for three days before they sold it for meat. Whale sharks aren't usually dangerous to people and are even known to let swimmers hitch a ride on their fins. So the death of this one is more upsetting. Number 11. White Shark in Phillip Island Vic Hislop is known for shark hunting, and though his actions have caused quite a lot of controversy, there's no denying he's bagged some incredible beasts in his time. This one was a 20-foot-long, 5,084-pound monster, and perhaps the heaviest one ever caught by a person. But that could be false if, like rumors suggest, the shark was only that heavy because it had just had a big lunch. The white shark was put on display in Arley Beach in Australia for 20 years. Number 10, Tiger Shark in Australia. They may not be the biggest, but sharks of any size are terrifying. Like the bull shark, they can get pretty aggressive and are responsible for many attacks on humans. This 20-foot-long behemoth was caught on Seven Mile Beach off the coast of Australia. Fishermen hauled this giant onto their boat, and pictures of it were circulated online. This is an extremely dangerous situation. 
it was apparently caught on purpose under a kill order because it was a likely culprit of a local attack. Number 9. Mako Shark in Huntington Beach Four fishermen caught the shark off the coast of Huntington Beach, which is also where they run a store called Mako Mats Marine. These guys, it seems, go shark fishing for sport regularly. On one of these trips, they spotted the fin of a mako shark and moved in quickly. Chopped mackerel seemed to entice the lesser-known shark cousin to their bait, and this 1,300-pound giant took it. That's a beast. Look at those teeth. It took two and a half hours just to get this big guy onto the boat, after which the men took it to a processing plant to put him in the freezer to use for research. Number 8. Great White Shark in the Mediterranean Sea it seems this one is a long way from home. Despite great whites being considerably large, this one straight up defied the rules and grew to a mass of 5,181 pounds. The female great white was caught by some tuna hunters in Favignana. Well, they found her struggling in a maze of fishing nets, to put it accurately. A few days earlier, locals had spotted the male too. This over 20 feet long, which would have been a heavier catch. Number seven, great white shark off Nova Scotia. As recent as 2019, American researchers found two great white sharks off the coast of Nova Scotia. If you can imagine it, one of the sharks was attacked by something even larger. We don't know what on earth dealt this 13-foot shark such serious damage, but whatever it was, we're glad that it didn't get caught in their net. It was probably another male fighting this one for a mate, and this one clearly lost the girl. They also caught a 15-foot shark, this one a female, and she was in much better shape than the other. Well, he could have suffered a beating from the female, who didn't want to mate. Number 6. Great White Shark, Prince Edward Island This fisherman caught a 17-foot Great White into his net, and by the time he made it to shore, he realized the monster was dead. Now, as we've seen from this video, this occurrence is not uncommon. So why are we talking about it even 30 years after? Well, that's because this is one of two of the largest sharks in the world. Well, those of what we have measured, at least. When they got it to the lab in Bedford, they found the shark was a female, and just a teenager, making her size quite unusual. Apart from that, the location it was found in was highly unusual too. There have been sightings of great whites once every two or three years, and in the last century, there have been only a few reports. So it was surprising that these fishermen found her at all. Oh, at least. Oh, at least. Oh, he's, I think he's more than 15. Number five, Slash the Shark. If there was ever an appropriate name for a shark, this would be it. Slash roams the New Zealand waters with a bad temper and even featured in Discovery Channel Shark Week. This 16-foot beast gets his name from a gash coming out of the side of his mouth and has become a bit of a local legend. He got a scar when a tagging project by the Department of Conservation went horribly wrong and he left with a massive gash on his face, which likely just made him angrier. Oh my gosh, what a monster. What an absolute monster. Every year, great whites like Slash return to Stewart Island during the summer. However, shark attack reports are quite low. More people die from drowning than encounters with sharks. Great white shark populations mostly gathered around seal colonies and were concentrated around Stewart Island, Fjordland, and the Chathams. Number 4. Hammerhead Shark Caught by Greg Norman is it any wonder that some of the biggest and most dangerous sharks are circling around Australia? The maximum weight of hammerhead sharks is supposed to be about 882 pounds, but we've seen how some animals like to defy nature. This shark was the catch of famous golfer Greg Norman, and the 14.7 foot monster wrestled with its catcher for a solid hour, dragging the yacht at a speed of one knot against the current. They couldn't weigh the shark as they had to ultimately release it back but seeing as how it could pull a 41-foot yacht all by itself, it's safe to assume he was about 1,300 pounds. Number 3. Great White Shark in Kangaroo Island Kangaroo Island is off the southwest of Adelaide in Australia and is home to native wildlife like sea lions, koalas, and some rare birds. You definitely don't want a shark to threaten any of the animals here. Well, it seems Great Whites are regular here for the buffet laid out on the island. In 1987, one of the world's largest sharks, spanning 22 feet, was seen swimming about close to the island. It was captured and brought to the shore, and there was actually some argument over the size. Shark expert J.E. Randall said it couldn't have been more than 19 or 21 feet long, and I.K. Ferguson said it would have been between 17 and 19 feet. 
it should be simple enough to find the length of anything. So why the dispute? Photographic evidence still leaves a lot up in the air, so a team of scientists took up the task to find out. They conducted a morphometric study of the shark remains and any photos available. They concluded that the shark was, in fact, about 22.9 feet long. No sea lion would have been able to fight that off. It is now time for our subscriber pick. If you ever come across an interesting or weird picture while scrolling the internet, send it over to us and we'll investigate. We might even feature it in a future video. Today's image is of a giant shark sneakily swimming up to an unsuspecting person. The shark does look way too close for comfort, so we decided to check if the person is okay and scoured news reports. Luckily, this image is definitely photoshopped. Here's the original. But don't worry, we got something good for you. Number 2. 1,000 Pound Tiger Shark In 2013, Chip Mikhailov and his fishing buddies reeled in a massive 1,000 pound tiger shark off South Carolina. Oh, hold him, hold him. Walk, walk up, walk up. You got him? Yeah, I got him. But he don't like and this isn't even the first time it has been caught. Earlier, the South Carolina Department of Natural Resources attached a larger satellite tag to the same shark. When Mikolov caught it, he secured a small tag to the shark, and his three friends took turns at the rod and reel to pull the shark alongside them. He said it was like pulling along a tugboat, and the shark put up a fight for most of the time. Tiger sharks have their name thanks to the faint vertical stripes in their bodies, and they're usually found in tropical and subtropical areas. They can go up to 1,700 pounds, although one is yet to be caught. Apparently, the four friends had set out to the sea for a challenge, and boy, did they get one. Before we take a look at number one, we have a quick challenge for you that will take only five seconds. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss a video, and you'll get your dream car in 2021. Try it, it really works. Now, technically, the largest shark to have ever graced the blue planet is the Megalodon, believed to be over 50 feet long. The species went extinct 3.6 million years ago, and we doubt it was ever caught on camera. So, here's the most massive shark we have video evidence of. Number one, El Monstro, Kojimar. As legend has it, six fishermen in 1945 went on a fishing trip off the coast of Kojimar in Cuba to hunt the predator devouring their precious fish. They took off in a small boat, armed only with ropes and harpoons. When they finally managed to hook the creature, they spent the night and the following day just battling it. It was a jaw-dropping 21-foot, 7,000-pound great white shark, appropriately named El Monstro de Kojimar. Needless to say, this was a very unusual find. Great whites are known to range from 11 to 16 feet, so this 21-foot shark left scientists baffled. It doesn't need mentioning that I'll be keeping away from the beach for some time. You never know. Have you seen sharks swim like that? What are they doing? They're serving themselves up on a platter. It's now time to answer the question, which of these is the biggest shark of all? You might be inclined to say it's the great white because we've seen so many of them in this video, but it's actually the whale shark. Whale sharks can weigh as much as 13 tons, which is equal to two African elephants. And that's all on the 15 biggest sharks ever caught on camera. Think you'll ever take a visit to the beach again? Or go fishing? It might be wise to take a few extra precautions, like going to the mall instead. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out others on the Forever Green channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.